Hi everybody, welcome to my studio, Mr. Diamond Painting Sunday. This is a 60 by 90 ever moment that I received through the Mystery Diamond Painting Fun Facebook group. I will explain a little bit more about that if you're new to the channel or you're new to this video. I can explain. Um, so this is where I'm at. I'm working up in this area up here. I want to work on her, the other side of her hair here. Um, so I'm going to flip it around, but I wanted you to see where we're at. And we've kind of figured out this is Game of Thrones. Totally. If not, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> this is me. Yes. I've told people this, you know, I've got this big old sword and I've got the armor. Yeah. I don't have the red hair, but... A little preference by L'Oreal, and I could have the red hair, but no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, and this is a big painting. Oh my goodness. I've been working on this for a while, but to be fair, I only work on it. Um, I'm going to move the desk a little closer. I want to make sure you guys are hearing me. I only work on it on Sundays. So, and the reason for that is because I'm so busy with other projects. So just a little bit about Mystery Diamond Painting Fun, for those of you who have not done this before. Um, there is a Facebook group, and you can do it really. Uh, I also do it in my Facebook group. Uh, we've recently done an Ever Moment Mystery Gift Exchange. Um, unfortunately, nobody has their painting yet. <laughs> They're all still in China. But uh, what we do is you exchange names with another person. i got to make sure I'm doing the right symbol here. Um, and then you can instruct. It does not have to be Ever Moment, but we, my Facebook group chose to do Ever Moment. You can do another company. Um, but you ask the company to leave the thumbnail off of the inventory sheet and off of the canvas. And if you look here next to the schematic, there is no thumbnail. They have left it off for me. Every moment will gladly do it. Um, some other companies I've not had any experience with, but I understand other companies will as well. So, uh, and then when you get it, I always have it sent directly to my partner. That way you're minimizing the handling of the canvas. Um, if that's possible, sometimes it's not possible. You know, I find AliExpress to be a very confusing website. And as many times as I ordered Evermoment, I invariably I will not put, you know, my comments in the right place or, you know, they'll tell me I need to order it a different way and cancel your order and they'll give you your money back eventually and redo the order and yeah, it's it's a big thing. So uh, send it directly to your partner if I live alone. So uh, because I did not want to see this on the light pad before I put it on the light pad, I put these strips on it. You can have a family member do this for you so that when you put it on your light pad, you will not see the strips. And then the painting will slowly come to life for you. Uh, and then you can have fun trying to figure out what it is. You know, try to get to know your partner before um, you guys order for each other because um, you want to make sure that you figure out what they like and what they don't like. And it's always fun. I'm finding this really fun. For the longest time, I had no clue what this was. Um, it's just been really fun watching this painting come together. And this is probably... Uh, I know it's the biggest square painting I have ever done, which, you know, I need to tell you guys, I, you know, I don't need to tell you, you already know, I'm not an expert in anything that on my channel. I'm not an expert. This is my journey, uh, learning crafts and sharing that journey with you. Um, but if there's a question I can answer for you, I'm certainly happy to to do that or find the answer for you because there are experts out there in the community that are more than willing to help out 
and answer questions. So I've kind of figured out where I can go to get my questions answered. So if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If I can't answer them, I'll figure out where we can get the answer. But if you want to join um, in on a mystery diamond painting uh, exchange, you can join my Facebook group. Um, we will probably not be doing another one. Like I said, nobody has gotten their last painting yet because um, we all waited till the 1111 sale and those paintings just have not uh, arrived yet. But we will be doing a Mystery Diamond Painting Exchange again, maybe early next year. Um, the other site that I know of is Mystery Diamond Painting Fun. Um, that is run by Christina Katzman, and they do exchanges uh, quite often. But once a month, I would say maybe, maybe every month to six weeks. They also just did one in November so that everyone could take advantage of that 11-11 sale. So I don't know when they will be doing their next one as well. But, you know, sign up and make sure you um, express your interest so you can get in on the next exchange. So this is uh, Sunday. We've got a couple of weeks until Christmas. I'm excited. This is my first Christmas in Kansas. Um, it's not, well, I let me, that's, there's a disclaimer to that. I've spent many Christmases in Kansas as a visitor. This is my first Christmas in Kansas as a resident, an official resident. Um, I would come every year to, well, every, other year i would alternate between thanksgiving and christmas so last year i was here at christmas um to kansas to visit the grandkids and then last year i decided while i was here i would look for a place to live permanently so last christmas i found the place that i'm in now um was able to work out the details with the landlord um, i'm renting and um so then it was like a little disheartening that i had to get on a plane and go back home and pack all my things and um you know i want to of course move in right away but i i wanted to watch my grandchildren grow up i didn't want to see them once a year i wanted to have a relationship with them that was more than just you know oh here comes grandma what did she bring me um and it's been difficult with the boys because they're older. They're 15 and 16. But I think that um, my granddaughter and I have done really well establishing a really good relationship over the past year. So I went back home after last Christmas, um, after arranging for this place and started packing. And um, I moved here. At the end of January, I put everything in the back of a U-Haul. I put my car on a, I towed my car here. My kids thought I had lost my mind. You know, my daughter was convinced I was going to, you know, have this horrible accident in the snow along the way and um, I would never be seen again. Um, and to be honest, it I didn't see any snow along the way when I came. I came in into January, and the weather was beautiful pretty much the entire way. I got super, super lucky. I realized that. I had my two dogs in this U-Haul, in the front seat of the U-Haul, and towing my car. I only had one incident where I parked in the wrong place and ended up getting stuck in the mud and had to call. Actually, if you call U-Haul, they will come out and help you get out um, at no expense because I bought the insurance. So they came out and helped me. Um, that was a little panicky, but I got through it. Um, so we stayed in hotels for several nights. I think it took 
three or four days to get here driving. It was interesting. Now, have I used this everywhere I need to use this? Have I, have I? Before I put it away? Yeah, I think so. So anyway, this, so this is my first Christmas here in Wichita as a resident, employed. And the people here, you know, they're just so pleasant. You know, it's amazing that you can just, you're in the same country, I'm still in the US, but the people can be so different. You know, I came a land, from Florida, which is the land of, you know, the retirees or the Northeasterners, and it was, so different. The people were just, you know, people here are kind. I'm not going to say that where I live they were unkind, but here I find that they're very kind. Um, I don't, I don't even know if I can explain that difference, but there was a difference. Okay, I want to put the red in her hair. Where are my reds? There's some. There's just a few. So last night, I I did my live last night. That went well. I was excited um, at the Mandy Manzano's that Diamond Art Club is coming out with. Two Cheshire cats. And I looked, she actually, those are her Cheshire cats. She did do Cheshire cats. I was a little surprised. Um, but those, that is artwork of Manny Manzano, and I love Alice in Wonderland, and I'm all about the Cheshire Cat, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. So, anyway, so I went to bed last night and woke up at 2.30 in the morning, so that was all there was of those, just like four or five. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I woke up at 2.30 in the morning and I wanted, because I was worried about a friend. Um, so I checked on her and there was really no news. So, oh, how am I going to get this? Oh, I have to use these to get these back into the tic tac. I don't like these tic tac jars. I really don't. I know other people swear by them, but I'm just not a fan. So, you got to take, you know, I like the bigger tray, so you got to put it into a smaller tray to get it back into the Tic Tac container. Yeah, not a fan. All right, let's do somewhere I don't have to switch back and forth. Let's just do some of these. And these are which symbol? Let's remind ourselves. Okay, the percentage sign. So I was checking on a friend and there was really no news from her, but I, and I never checked Facebook. I was checking Facebook Messenger. I never, I just kind of been slacking on Facebook, checking Facebook. So, um, so I checked Facebook. I have no idea what made me do that, but I did it. And I found out that a very dear friend of mine, her son passed away. Now it was not, unexpected we just never knew when it would happen this boy and i say he was a man now but when he was a boy um a teenager he jumped into a body of water a lake and he was a quadriplegic um and had spent most of his life with his mom she would take care of him and you know i Bless her, I don't know how she did it. She really had tremendous patience. Um, more recently, he had been living in a nursing home. I'm gonna say he was probably at this point in his 40s. Um, she and I met when I played World of Warcraft. I was a huge World of Warcraft person for 10 years. This woman and I played um, Side by side, we were very good friends. We became, became very good friends through the game. We've met in person several times. And her son actually played the game with us, you know, when he was able to, when he felt up to it. But he could play the game um, by using 
um, this special technique with his mouth and I wasn't up on how exactly he did it, but it just amazed me that because World of Warcraft is not easy, the mechanics of it are not easy. Um, but he could play and he played pretty well, you know, but unfortunately, you know, we would back then we had guilds. Well, they, I'm sure they still do, but I was in a guild and, um, you know, guilds are all about speed. Um, you know, we got to We got to do it. We got to do it fast, you know, so. Um, and they would get upset with this um, boy. I keep saying boy. He wasn't a boy. They'd get upset with him because he wasn't going quite as fast as they thought he should go. And then I would have to take them into a separate chat and explain to them, you know, this this, um, this guy is a quadriplegic. And he is really, what he's doing is actually very amazing. And, um, you know, just have a little patience with him. And then they would understand. Um, but he was better at the game if he just played by himself and I think he preferred it that way so I didn't get terribly close to him because like I said he would he played often by himself so um, so I found out that he had he had passed away and you know, it, it's kind of sad, but you know, now, now he can walk again. Now he's, he's in a better place. He can walk again. He's joining his father who passed away last year as well. And he's not suffering anymore. I know, you know, more recently he, he had bed sores and, and he was, <laughs> It was kind of funny because he was sort of like a grumpy old man, you know. Um, but I liked him. I enjoyed his sense of humor. We, um, you know, when World of Warcraft sort of went by the wayside, we played Farmville together. I don't know if you guys remember Farmville, but uh, he would play Farmville with me as well. And then I would send him stuff and he would send me stuff. So, you know, and I've sort of lost touch with him uh, when I started playing the Xbox. Um, I stayed in touch with his mom and I even visited her. You know, she came to Florida and visited and I, I met up with her. So, you know, condolences to that family. But how strange that I just happened to check Facebook and, and it was almost as if I knew that, you know, maybe something was going on. I don't know. And fate has a way of bringing things to your attention, I guess. Things that are important. But I did manage to go back to sleep. <laughs> so, of course, today I was super tired and I decided I would take a nap. So now I'm recording my whipping chat. At, you know, 7.30 at night, because I sat through uh, several lives today. I didn't know there were so many lives on Sundays. Wow. There are. I guess any day of the week, there's lives now. So I sat through some lives, but I was Simon Pam. I've been working on this darn thing all day. Oh, come on. Uh, sometimes these tweezers work. Sometimes they don't. Um... So time kind of got away from me. So the tree is up. I put the tree up. It's, it is trimmed. I put ornaments on it. I wrapped a bunch of presents for the grandkids and they're under the tree. Oh my gosh, my granddaughter came over yesterday and she was like, oh, she's trying to find which one is hers. I'm like, you're so silly. You can't unwrap it now anyway. She's 12 and she still has that excitement about Christmas. It's so cute. I have not put up my Christmas village. I will probably do that um, live next weekend or I don't know. We'll see. 
And now I have to go to office Christmas party next weekend as well. It's that time of year. We decided instead of exchanging gifts at work to adopt a family for Christmas. So we bought gifts for this family and at the party we're going to wrap the gifts. And it's been kind of fun picking out gifts for this family. I bought, they have two boys and I bought them some books, um, each age appropriate um, books and things that, and books I think they'll really like, not, you know, classics or anything like that, but interesting books. Nonetheless, <laughs> And uh, we have, I still have to record for, we are doing a Christmas um, creator collaboration, I, for lack of a better term, I'm not sure what we're calling it, what, where we all do premieres on over Christmas, starting on Christmas Eve, continuing through Christmas Day. Um, each creator will have an amount of time to do a premiere and we're doing it as premiere so we can also have time to be with our families. Now I will try, I think most of us will try to be there uh, during the premiere to, to talk with you guys. Uh, my premiere will air at 11 Eastern. So we will bring in Christmas together. If you're on the East coast, um, it won't quite be Christmas here because I'm on Central Time, but I've got some plans that I think you guys will enjoy for Christmas Eve. What's going on, Jake? He's over there vying for my attention. What? What's up, buddy? Come here. What's up? What have you done? What have you done? Oh my goodness, what are you doing over here? What are you doing over here? What the hell is this monopoly? Oh, there you go. His little bed is all messed up. Now he did it, but he wants me to fix it. That's silly dog. He is so silly. Goodness gracious. I got, I, before, I brought some Christmas tags up so we can talk about Christmas. I haven't been this excited about Christmas in a long time. I just, oh, I just love this time of year. Probably because, you know, my birthday is also this time of year. So like all the celebration happens this time of year. Um, so yeah, I do get excited by Christmas. I've always, it's my absolute favorite holiday out of every holiday. Um, <laughs> what do you want? What? Why are you messing that up? Come here. Come here. Come here. Stop it. Cut <laughs> it off. I don't know what he's doing. He's being so silly. And interrupting me. You're interrupting my... I think he knows that. I think he knows that. So let's do some Christmas questions. Why not? Okay. Use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> That's my noise. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Yeah, a noise to describe. I'm not going to make it again. I sound like a dolphin. Yeah, I get excited about Christmas. It's a holiday feeling. I even have Alexa put Christmas music on and I dance around while I'm cleaning house. Yeah, I would be embarrassed if anybody saw me, but that's what I do. I am not a singer. No, I'm not. Okay, next question. What is the best present that I've ever received? Oh my gosh. That's a great question. I don't know. See, you know, oh, there he is again. 
Yeah, now he wants, he's trying to get the other dog to play. He's in a mood. Oh, God, Tootsie wants to play. You know, you see these commercials where they get cars with bows on them, or, I don't know. That's never happened to me. You know, I'm, just, I'm just saying, have you seen the commercial? No, I've never gotten a car with a bow on it. Um, gosh, I, I don't know. I have, I've had a lot of nice Christmas stuff, but I can't remember. Like, there's no present that sticks out as like, wow, that's the best present I've ever gotten. Nobody ever proposed to me over the holidays. Oh man, how about that flat those, that company's getting for that Peloton? Holy moly, for a skinny woman gets a Peloton exerciser and yeah, they're really raking her with the cloth. Let me go see what his problem is. Oh, he is in a mood. He wants to play. He wants to play. He's going to sit there and bark at the other dog until she plays with him. Uh, next question. What is the worst present you've ever seen? Oh, I think I have talked about this. The gun. I got a gun. My ex-husband bought me, while we were still married, a gun for Christmas. I thought that was the weirdest worst present I've ever gotten. He was thrilled about it. Me, not so much, yeah. Never on my list uh, before or after. I hated that gun. Oh my God, hated it, hated it, hated it. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. As a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished for you? Oh, no. My parents were very fair. But I know what you're saying. Like, did somebody get something that you wanted? No, not really. Not really. Wouldn't that be terrible, though? You know, something that you wished you for and your sibling got it and you didn't? Oh, that would be terrible. Not a good thing at all. Holy moly. No. Mm -mm. Never happened to me. But, you know, in all honesty, I... My parents got divorced when I was, I don't know, 12, I think. And my siblings were a little younger than that. So I was the oldest. And I went to live with my dad. And they lived with my mother. So we didn't even live together for most the time we were growing up, which is probably why I'm not that close to them now. I'm very close to my sister now, but my brother, not so close with him. He was much younger. Sing a line from your favorite Christmas song. Oh my goodness. Do I have a favorite Christmas song? Oh, you know Dasher and Dancer and Hatcher and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Okay, that's it. That's one line. <laughs> that's all you get. Rudolph, no. Kidding. The red nose reindeer. Now, it's, now I'm going to be singing it all night long. Goodness. Had a very shiny nose. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? Oh, the food. The food. The cookies. The presents. That is my favorite thing about Christmas. Now, I gotta tell you, I'm not the most religious person. 
sorry, I, I don't um, believe in organized religion. Now, I have my beliefs, and I have my belief system, but I celebrate Christmas as a time when, you know, you can spend with your family and your loved ones. Um, and that's what it means to me. It means it's a time of reflection. It's a time to celebrate family um, and be with the people that you love. But it's also a time to eat cookies, gingerbread cookies, sugar cookies. I love cookies. I have to bake cookies for next week's Christmas party. Yep. We're doing a cookie exchange. I've never done one, so that seems like it would be fun. So like you take some cookies, that does not leave it on it, I don't think I it. Um, and then I guess you come home with somebody else's cookies. It'll be interesting. And then I'll take those cookies to my grandkids' house and they will eat them, most of them. I'll eat some of them. When do you start getting excited about Christmas? Oh, right, when Thanksgiving. As soon as Thanksgiving's over, I'm excited about Christmas. I don't do anything about Christmas before Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, like Black Friday, I'm getting excited about Christmas. Oh, yeah. And I'm super broke right now. I am not going to lie. But it, it doesn't dampen the Christmas spirit for me. I've gotten, you know, I use Black Friday to um, take advantage of a sale. I got a present for everybody on my list. And that list has gotten a great deal shorter over the years. But everybody's getting a present. It's not a car or anything like that. My grandson wants a car. Poor thing. He really and he actually really he really does need one. When you're 16, you need a car. You can't have your, your dad driving you around because man, he's he does wrestling and he's all over the place. But you know, grandma can't afford a car. Sorry. Mm -mm. I can barely afford my own car. <laughs> Gosh, once upon a time, I probably could have afforded to buy him a car, but not anymore. I don't make the kind of money I used to. When I worked as a lawyer, I made good money, but man, you sacrifice your lifestyle to make that money, and I was not willing to do that anymore. I prefer having a, a nice lifestyle over having a bunch of money. Now, y'all might disagree with that, but, oh, goodness, okay. Recite one line from your favorite Christmas holiday movie. Oh, man. Hmm. Well, my favorite Christmas holiday movie is Sound of Music. Is there a line from that movie, though? Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I'm trying to think of, do I, I don't have any lines memorized. <laughs> I have song memorized in that movie. Oh, my gosh. Let's see this goes. <laughs> it never fails to just shock me when she barks, you know. She, He's the most docile dog, but when she barks, man, you would think you were being attacked by a monster. That bark is fierce. Talk us through your typical Christmas day. Okay, this is going to be the last one because we need to go. Um, <laughs> Typical Christmas day. All right, usually I wake up and I try to make a pot of coffee before the kids get up. And usually wherever I am, there's children. And 
they like to get up early. The teenagers, they're teenagers now, so you know, the grandkids, they, they don't really get up so early. Now, my son, he, even as an adult, he gets up early. I think that's the military in him. I know that if I need to talk to my son, the best time is to call him first thing in the morning. He's up and at him. So I'll make some coffee and then I'll just, um, before my son can get up and put ESPN on, <laughs> I'll find a nice like Yule Log channel where you can sit and enjoy the nice peace and quiet while you're having your coffee and just reflect. I know that's kind of a silly thing, but it's what I do. And then, you know, the chaos starts when the kids wake up and they want to open the presents. And then, so we do that. And then I'll make breakfast. I'll help make breakfast. Um, Somewhere in there, we walk. I walk the dogs, probably before the kids get up, and then we just kind of hang out and talk about, you know, our presents and get ready for the holiday meal. We start cooking whatever it is we're going to cook. Sometimes we have guests over. Sometimes we don't. That one has a little thingy knobby hanging off of it, so we're not going to use it. And then, you know, if there's games, we usually play games. Uh, you know, if you've, we've gotten a game for Christmas, we'll play that. If we haven't, we'll play, we'll get out the other games, you know, Monopoly or, um, life or whatever's there. Kids, even in their teenagers, even as teenagers, they like to play games. They like to do it now with their cell phones right next to them, but they like to play games. Last year, I think we were playing Clue. That was really fun. They, the kids were enjoying that game last year. Now this year, I don't know what it'll be this year. They're not into like card games. I wish they were. Card games are fun. Maybe I'll teach them a card game like poker. <laughs> and then sometimes my son, because, you know, he's in the military and he's a, um, an officer, he, Sometimes we'll have um, some of his workers over for Christmas dinner. You know, if they're here and they don't have family or they weren't able to get home, he'll invite them over, and that's always sweet. It's fun. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we're at 38 minutes. Oh, my goodness. We're going to wrap things up. Mystery diamond painting, yes, it continues. I didn't get a lot of her hair done, but we'll work on that again next week as we work our way down. Um, thank you guys for coming on this journey with me today. Thanks for reflecting on the holidays with me a little bit. Uh, more to come next week. Um, I will see you in my next video or in my next live. We are crocheting a Christmas wreath on Wednesday. We're going to continue. We started it last week. We're going to continue that this week. And I will see you then. Take care.